working from home with children is an entirely different beast than working from home without children. And so um, <clears throat> I think that if you don't have children, obviously telecommuting, um, depending on, on the length of your commute can, can uh, free up a substantial amount of time. Um, and so uh, assuming that your workday stays constant, so assuming that you're still working say eight hours a day, but you don't have to commute, one would assume that um, someone without children might be able to have more leisure time, more sleep time. From the employer standpoint, it makes a, a real challenge because much of our of what have we've built up for policies, both in terms of like in, you know, internal company policies, as well as our regulatory structure from a, a legal and uh, standpoint is really still based around a Monday through Friday, eight to five work week where you are physically in an office. So, and it, it's one of the reasons why, you know, that we've had the technology for a long time to be able to do more working from home, but companies have been either reluctant or had a difficult time transitioning to it because of all that, you know, kind of all that inertia that we had around it. Now we've been forced into it. So the good, you know, the, the benefit to that is that we've had to learn some lessons really quickly and figured some things out that we may not have had this not, you know, had this not come to pass. But there's a lot of the things that just need to change, you know, things like time off. If you have a time off policy or a sick leave policy, you know, that usually means that you're, those are hours that you're not in the office. So what does that mean when you're working from home or especially when you're working from home and de can't dedicate a chunk of time to work where you can measure it? Right. If I'm if I'm juggling multiple things in the in the home with with my kids or with my housework and those kind of things, how do I measure my time? 